praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord? Well, now the Lord has spoken with me. Um, the Lord Jehovah, the creator of the universe, has spoken with me. And uh, I want to bring this to the attention of the church that uh, the Lord has had a series of conversations with me. And uh, in the conversations that uh, the Lord has had with me, there are several conversations. Number one, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me about the meeting that is coming up in Durban, South Africa. And in that conversation, the Lord took me into a conference. And there is a big conference that takes place there. And I see as I'm standing to talk to them, they were they seated probably more than a thousand or so pastors, probably two thousand or so. I see grass that is growing between them grass. The weed grass growing between them grass. Grass growing between them, brother. Like when one plants wheat and the weeds grow, the tears grow to confuse the wheat. And uh, as I was standing to minister the pastor, I could see a lot of grass has grown. Uh, as they sat down between them, a lot of grass had grown. And then when the Lord led me to begin, begin to minister to them, to minister again, then uh, the words I spoke began to mow down the grass, to mow it down to the point at which now all the grass and the weed was totally destroyed and only the pastors remaining seated in that wonderful conference of pastors in South Africa. And so I have seen the house of the Lord in South Africa, in Durban, and in the nation of South Africa. And uh, I also saw that uh, uh, the pastors were walking out Beautiful house of the Lord built of brick, something like brick, reddish brick, reddish brown. And uh, using a remote, a remote in the hand like this, I could see that the door is, the two doors are able, the double arch doors are able to close by themselves. And also, I could see that. Uh, the curtain, there is a curtain that closes, but it is a black curtain, it is black. So the curtain that closes is black. And so the Lord has raised and highlighted the, these things, these elements of the house of the Lord to me. Again, I see that the Lord brings me to the house of the Lord in South Africa, in the nation of South Africa. And then I see a humongous conference of pastors. In fact, there is almost nowhere to sit. Large numbers. I see a walkway like this that is carving between between the pastors sitting this side and sitting this other side. And I see someone with uh, holding a camera, a TV camera on the shoulder, recording this. I already see the events. And then uh, I see grass growing between the pastors as they were sitting. 
and then the door, the double arched door, beautiful door by remote. We pressed the remote, the Lord gave the remote to me, I pressed it, and the two doors closed beautifully. The two doors could close beautifully. And then there is a curtain that also closes by remote. And then I found out that this curtain is very black. It's a black curtain. So that, that became one of the issues the Lord is raising. And to this hour, regarding the condition of the church in South Africa, a very big issue the Lord is raising now. So those are the elements that the Lord Jehovah has raised right now regarding the house of the Lord in South Africa, in Durban. And so, as I begin to minister, then the grass is somehow mowed by the words of the servant of the Lord mowed away and then the pastors remain sitting now the church is cleaned up now I could see them clearly and so these are the elements that the Lord has raised regarding the house of Jehovah the house of the Lord in South Africa so in other words the Lord is saying that there is work that is going to take place when he brings me to the nation of South Africa, tremendous work of cleaning up the house of the Lord, which means there is defilement and apostasy that is established inside the house of the Lord in South Africa, and the Lord is sending me, uh, sending me on, setting me up and sending me on a very major cleanup mission that the Church of Christ in South Africa may also be begin the process, be restored, begin the process of restoration, that the Lord may clean up the sin that is in the house. That grass that grows is the lot of sin, the sin that has entered in the house. And it's ranging from the sin of doctrinal error, the error of doctrine. They're teaching they're teaching another doctrine. They're totally another doctrine. They're teaching totally another gospel. Another doctrine. It's called the doctrinal era of the day. Whereby some of them even go ahead and say that don't worry. The rapture will not happen now. Don't worry. Those who will be taken up into heaven are the weak ones who cannot survive here, but the church will remain. So they have a kind of a funny gospel also that's ongoing in South Africa. And so that grass that is growing is also part of the doctrinal error that has entered the church, doctrinal mistake that has entered the church of Christ in South Africa. It is the apostasy of sexual sin in the house. It is the gospel of prosperity. It is immorality in the church. It is the many, 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 many false apostles that you see roving and ranging freely across the nation of South Africa. It is the many, 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 many false prophets that you see defiling the bride of Christ in South Africa, the church. There is sin that the Lord is highlighting here in the church. And he's talking about the sin that has been incorporated into Christian living, Christian life in South Africa. And that's why you see as he brings me to the house, the house of the Lord, then the first thing he raises is this grass that begins to grow. As the pastors are seated, the grass begins to grow between them, between them, within them, between them, and curve as them grows very high. But then when the Lord begins to minister, 
using his servant, then the grass is mowed, and there is a cleaning up of the house of the Lord in South Africa. So that is the good news, that if they will be able to hearken to the message, the words of the mighty servant of the Lord, the Lord will bring restoration to them, and then revival. That is the restoration. Revival, restoration, renovation of the image of the church, resuscitation of the heart of the church, the renewal of the gospel of the blood and the cross back to the church. That is the message that the Lord is highlighting right now regarding the nation of South Africa and the condition of the church. And then after that, the second conversation, the Lord now speaks with me about the healing service. So it's a very huge meeting. It's kind of, I don't know how it looks like a hill. I don't know if there's a hill or it's a place people are sitting up above like this, goes down like this, either it's a hill like this, or it's sitting, people are standing or sitting, but it goes up and waves like this, as if it's a small mall, a small hill. So there is, it's full, very, very full. It's a huge meeting. It's a very huge meeting that takes place there. And then I see this young, it looks like a boy, a black boy, because South Africa has all the, all the races. So it's, this is a black boy and uh, a young boy. I think, I, I don't know, they had wounds all over his body and the head. Then the Lord heals this boy. The wounds dry up. And then there is a baby also that is healed, a very young baby. She's very young. The mother is holding the baby. It's also healed. This white thing that pours, I don't know what it is, that pours as the mother, as the mother is trying to get the baby. Yes, something white pours. I thought it was milk, but pours. Maybe at that time milk will pour from the baby's uh, container, the feeding container, the plastic probably. But anyhow... There is a tremendous healing service ahead of us here. And so the Lord is talking about a big visitation that will come to the nation of South Africa. And the beginning of the conversation about that visitation is now. This is when he's beginning to talk about that visitation that is coming to South Africa. First of all, how he's going to clean up the pulpit so that he may bring correction to the doctrine error, the doctrinal error. The, the, the erroneous message that they are teaching, the message of prosperity that is so much in South Africa. And then after that, the Lord is saying that he'll open way for his visitation, his holy visitation, once the people embrace righteousness and the holiness that he requires of the church at this hour. So I've seen a very major visitation of the Lord. He's going to bring correction to the church. And then it's going to bring a very, very massive healing. Many, many people gathered there. A lot of people are going to be healed. That means the cripples will get up and walk. You will see the deaf will hear, the mute will speak, the paralytics will walk, spinal cord injuries will be healed, broken backs healed, broken knees healed, crushed knees, hip, broken hips, the, 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 the spine that were injured, wounds will dry up. You see, all kinds of conditions. The block womb, blocked wounds, cancers, leukemia, all the blood conditions, HIV, hepatitis. So the Lord is coming to visit South Africa in a mighty way. And he says in this visitation, there's going to be first of all the cleaning up of the pulpit, the cleaning up of the church in South Africa. And I don't know why the doors to the house close. Why the doors close with the remote and the black curtain covers. So that means the house of the Lord right now is closed. And so the Lord is coming to open up and remove, also remove, to remove that black curtain, because the black stands for sin. So the Lord is coming to visit South Africa, and he's saying that this is the hour for the house of the Lord, the hour for the pastors in South Africa. This is the hour for the ministers of the gospel in South Africa, that the Lord may give them such a wonderful refreshing at this hour, the renewal that will now di redirect them back to righteousness and holiness, that in this process they may take up their 
assigned duty of preparing the nation of South Africa for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And he's going to show forth the powers of the coming kingdom, the powers of righteousness, the powers of holiness. You bring forth that very unmistakable message that righteousness has power at this hour, that holiness has power at this hour, that this is the hour to prepare a, for the garment of righteousness and enter into the kingdom of Jehovah, the kingdom of the Messiah, the kingdom of the gospel, the kingdom of the Christ that is near. All these things will take place in South Africa. So a very big conversation regarding South Africa and the church has just begun, has just commenced. And for the other nations, it is my prayer that again, like Uganda came here last week, and they had tremendous three days of refreshing and renewal and redirecting, reprogramming, reconstruction. And they went back with the central theme of righteousness and holiness. They went back rejuvenated, refreshed, and renewed. And so much zeal up. They went with so much zeal. So shall it be in South Africa, and so should it be with other nations. This should be the longing of all other nations that they too may get such a sacred moment with the Lord, what I call the quality time with the Spirit of the Lord, that we may renew them, renew their salvation, renew their Christian lifestyle, renew their gospel, renew their anointing, renew their direction, and renew their destiny also, that the now they may bear towards the eternity, the eternal kingdom of God. So these are the words of our God Almighty, and He has spoken about South Africa. So those who have ears, may they prepare, because I have seen the coming of the Messiah. Shalom, shalom. Sodarabah, Erev Tov.